What if I will tell you that you don't need the gas tube on AK to function? And the gas tube really is not the gas tube. Let me explain. Welcome to the episode 2 for the AK Gorilla gunsmithing. Alright, so as you can see, the AK will function without the gas tube. It doesn't matter, you know, how many uh, holes you got in the gas tube or you don't have a holes at all. You don't need that part if it will get damaged. And yes! this part can get damaged. Uh, I have seen the retard squishing that uh, gas tube when uh, they were uh, doing some maintenance on the, on the weapon or, or uh, something like this, but I seen the one retard who literally destroyed the gas tube uh, during the uh, cleaning process. So, uh, of course, you know, if you can buy it, then that's fine. But for the emergency situation, you don't need the gas tube. This is not the gas tube really. This is just the alignment tube for that piston to find the home and the home is the gas block. So it doesn't matter if you don't have a tube covering it. The tube of course is up, up, except the alignment part. It is useful for basically keeping dirt a little bit away uh, from the gas block. But the rifle will function correctly. The only thing, what you have to do, I think I still have some rounds in the magazine. I will shoot it, I'm, I'm going to shoot from the kneeling. Okay, and as you can see, see, the bolt carrier didn't close because in my case, that piston hit the edge of the gas block. All you have to do is, push it with your finger, boom, see, the piston head went home and uh, you can make uh, another shot. If you really are pressed, if there's no spare parts, uh, as I said, AK Gorilla Gunsmithing, right, we're talking about the worst case scenarios, you can do the gas tube, you can do the temporary gas tube from uh, your notebook. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, you know, screw the tactical, but uh, they're right in the rain. They got like a car hard, harder cardboards and you can fold it because see that size of that notebook is perfect to reach from the gas block to the rear post. And you basically have to make a, like a tube from the paper roll, the, roll the paper, roll it uh, above the uh, gas block and secure it with the duct tape and that will work. Not going to waste the time. It takes a little bit play and finding the sweet spot, but uh, it is durable. So you're rolling a paper, you're making a gas tube from that hardened paper and you're taping with the duct tape around the gas block and you can have from the notebook, you can do the temporary uh, gas tube. All right, let me reset the system and I'll show you the trick number two for the video. For the trick number two, you will need the piece of rock, empty shell and your cleaning kit, or at least the cap from the cleaning kit and the screwdriver. Let me explain. So what happens if your AK or you pick up the AK and it's not zero and suddenly, you know, you, you lost the zero, you have to zero the rifle and you don't have your wonderful magnetic tool from the AK or you start, what you will do. All right, so as I said, you need the cleaning kit. From the cleaning kit, you're going to open and you remove the screwdriver blade and you remove the cap, okay? That cap has a job. The cap for the cleaning kit was designed so you can put it right like, like this and create like a lever, le no, not the lever, leverage. And let me find the space. There we go. Somewhere here. There we go. So you don't bang on the barrel. If you don't have that, you can use some piece of wood or something to rest the barrel so it's away from the ground. But uh, if you have it, that's cool that's nice, then you will take the spent case, put your leg, knee, something, or have someone 
to help you, you will put the spent case right on the drum and use the rack to push the drum left or flip the rifle and you will push, use the rack to hammer it and push the front post drum right. So from behind the rifle guys, if you shooting to the left, that front post, there is no round in the chamber, so don't freak out. If you shooting from behind the rifle, you shooting to the left, you have to push the front post drum to the left. If you shooting to the right, you have to tap it from this side and push it to the right from behind the rifle. You're always pushing that front post with the direction of where the shots are going. So to correct, okay? So left, if you're missing or shooting left, right, if you're shooting right and try to align yourself. You're not going to be precise. This is, you know, basic, like really, really basic, but use, you're using the spent case and you're tapping with the rock and you will, you will move that front post uh, drum. So it's not as cool as with the tool when you have some screw tension and you can push it, uh, but it is what it is. Now, that addresses the windage, but what to do if you are shooting too low or too high? So if you will look any AK kit, the screwdriver blade on the flip side, you got the notch and that notch is not there to make you, you know, wonder and surprise you with anything. That notch is, so you're putting this over the front post. There is like a little hole and you're putting that little donkey dick into the hole and boom, all right? It's like little vagina and this is a dick, okay? Everything is sexual on the AK and you, it fits perfectly. And now you can rotate and either screw in the front post, if you will screw in the front post, then your point of impact will go up. And if you will unscrew the front post, then your point of impact will go down. So screw in to make it go up, screw out, <laughs> unscrew it to go down. So again, that cleaning kit, as you can see on AK, has many, many hidden futures, which we'll talk about it in the next uh, episodes or future episodes of the AK Gorilla Gunsmithing. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Thanks for supporting us on AK or store. Thanks to that store, we can make all the videos and uh, keep the fun going. Bye guys, see you in the next video.